This is where we left off from the last video, putting in a regulator 35 volts. Well, I'm going to change that to 36 volts. And the reason is right here. You see two Zener diodes there. Well, I was thinking about using three 10 volt diodes and a 5 volt diode all in series to give me 35 volts but that is pretty crowded on the breadboard here and two 18 volt Zener diodes will give me 36 volts and I thought that was much easier to follow so here is the circuit we have an NPN transistor and on the base of that transistor are two 18 volt Zener diodes. And if we look to the left, right by the bridge, we have 54.9 volts. And at the output on the right, above the 5K load resistor, we've got our 36 volts DC. And here is a short video on how this circuit works. Okay, this meter is hooked up right here on our reserve. And this meter is hooked up across the 5K load. Here's a 2K and I'm going to put it in parallel and we can see on the left the voltage goes down a little bit and on the right meter we are really close to 36 volts. Okay. Here's a 100 ohm resistor. Let's see what happens now. It goes down pretty far on the left, but oh, around a half a volt. on the right. So you notice that it's going down much more on the left side. And also this resistor is getting mighty warm. Ouch! And of course this transistor here is getting warm also. We, we would need a heat sink on that. There's our two 18 volt Zener diodes. Let's see if this is cooled off. And it's still still pretty warm. Let's do that one more time. getting a little warm. So that's how the regulator works. It takes from the reserve and uh, gives it to the output here. So what happens when there's more current that needs to be drawn, this regulator set up here, this transistor, uh, uh, of course the diodes are controlling that, will reduce its resistance, letting more electrons through to this side. When I added the 2K ohm resistor across the 5K ohm resistor, the total resistance is 1,428.57 ohms. 
and our voltage at the output went down just a little bit, 35.99 volts. And over at the bridge, it went down a little bit also, 54.3 from 54.9. Now when I added the 100 ohm resistor across the 5K, its total resistance is 98.04 ohms. Our output went down 35.53 volts, which is about a half a volt, not quite a half a volt. But over by the bridge, it went down to 46.1 volts, almost 9 volts. So what's happening there is when there's a need for more current, this circuit using those Zener diodes causes that NPN transistor to lower its resistance and lets more electrons flow through from our reserve to where it's needed at our output. Here's another way to look at that. We've got our 54.9 volts on the left and our 36 volts, that's our output on the right, and a regulator in the center. Now when I add that 100 ohm resistor, the regulator lets more electrons through from the left side to the output on the right side. Thanks for watching.